A hinged trap door is held closed in the horizontal position by a cable. Three forces act on the trap door. The weight W of the door, the tension T in the cable, and the force H at the hinge. Which list gives the three forces in increasing order of magnitude? Okay, so these are the three forces given and we need to find increasing order. The smaller, the greater, and the greatest. Okay, so students usually make a confusion, a mistake over here. They think that the length of the arrows shown on the diagram corresponds to the magnitude. That's not necessarily always true because we don't know if this question is up to scale, right? So we need to look at the question from another point of view. So the question says that it's held. The trap door is held closed in the horizontal position. It's basically stationary. That would mean it's in equilibrium. And equilibrium means that all the forces acting on the trap door must be balanced. So all the forces acting in the horizontal direction and all the forces acting in the vertical direction must be balanced. So the first thing we'll do is resolve the tension and H force into their vertical and horizontal components. Starting with the tension force, these would be the two components. Let's name this as Ty, the vertical component of tension, and Tx, the horizontal component. Very similarly, let's resolve the H force at the hinge into its vertical and horizontal components. Let me name this again as HY, the vertical component, and HX, the horizontal component. Now, all the horizontal forces must be balanced. Basically, all the left forces should be equal to the right forces, and all the up forces should be equal to the down forces. So let's start with the horizontal forces. Hmm. What do we have in the horizontal direction? We have Tx to the left and Hx to the right. So I can come up with an equation, Tx equals Hx. Okay, moving on towards the vertical forces now. Ty up, Hy and W down. So the equation I can come up with could be Dy equals Hy plus W. Now, if you look at these two equations carefully, the second equation gives you your answer. Clearly from the second equation, Ty is greater than both Hy and W. Ty is equal to Hy plus W. So basically that obviously means that Ty is the greatest. And if you look at the options, the only option that matches is option C, where the tension force is at the end, the greatest. And that's your answer.